Last summer was a summer I'll never forget. All I was thinking about was surfing, riding the waves, and hanging out with my buddies. School was finally out, and things were looking great. That was until Mom tells me, David, your cousin Jonathan is coming to visit for the summer. The whole summer. Cousin Jonathan was, well, he was Cousin Jonathan. Hey, I had plans. I had my own ideas and wasn't going to let some city boy ruin my summer. Everyone in town was getting ready for the big centennial. It was going to be great. Except now, who knows? Besides, I had a lot of important stuff to do. Cousin Jonathan. Two suitcases and a violin. Thanks a lot. Yep, I knew it. This summer's gonna be a wipeout. Well, hello, Jonathan. Hi, Aunt Grace. Did you see that weird looking cab driver? Did you see his eyes? He looked just like a vampire. Boy, what a small little town. What do you do around here anyway? Boy, am I hungry. I could eat a horse. When do we eat? I'll we'll pile your junk in the corner. Where am I going to sleep? A neighbor's going to bring over a rollaway bed. Hmm, yeah, this looks pretty neat. Where'd you get the ship? Did you make it yourself? What terrible thing could I have done to deserve this? Wow! This is from a sunken ship! How'd you know? Got this here stinks, The games bikes. had begun. And a punching oh, ice no, cream cone. Oh no, the punching ice cream cone. I a chicken? A you gotta chicken. be kidding. Sure, well, I came up with a plan. A camping later. trip. Yeah, and a camping later. trip. And just, just sort of... You, Separate the men I've from the boys. Two. I say two fake barfs. And one with peas and carrots. Boy, Aunt Grace, that lunch was really great. I especially like those brownies. Glad you liked it, Jonathan. Hmm, one brownie left. I'm stuck. It's yours. Don't mind if I do. Well, why can't I go with you? Cindy, please, not now. Bet your mom will let you go. She is too. Is not, is not, is not. Betcha she don't. Would you mind telling me what that was all about? No, well, I was going to tell you, Mom. I just thought it'd be fun to take Cousin John camping on the beach. You know, like Dad does when he's here. Wouldn't that be neat? Yes, Dave, it would be neat, but your father isn't here. Well, Dad wouldn't want John to miss a chance at camping just because of the Navy. Well, maybe so. But just remember, Jonathan doesn't know the area very well, so be careful when you're on the beach. Then we can go. Thanks, Mom. Hey! Oh, hey! Oh, Betty! Hey. John and I headed down to Haley's store to pick up some hot dogs and marshmallows. Hi, Mr. Haley. Hello, Dave. And who's your friend? This is my cousin, John. He's visiting for the summer. Welcome to Emerald Cove. I hope you have a great summer. If you ever need anything, just come and see me. Dave, how can I help you today? Um, you can hang around out here. We'll be just a minute. What are you doing tomorrow? Uh, nothing, no plans. Well, uh, I got a gig at the town square. Really? Uh-huh. Cool, molasses. Stuff. What are you doing, kid? Come on, mind your own business, would you? Come on, get lost. Do it, Bert. I 
this at the pickle drop. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Haley. Have a good day, we'll boys. see you later. Yeah, what's with the bad guy anyway? Who? Oh, you mean Dub. I don't know. He's kind of new around here. Huh? Sounds like fun. Can yeah. I come? Sure. Oh. Sure, you could ride on my bike. Your bike! Hey, my bike! You jerky little twerk! I'll get you for this! I'll get you! Eesh, what's his uh, problem? I told you to stay away from my bike! I got a big one! Uh, can you believe this, Gert? Ah, uh, great. What a rat trap. Love. You'd think a guy that worked in a laundry would get his act together better than this. Had he been in the joint with me instead of some laundry boy, even I could have taught this guy some etiquette. He better not mess up this job like he messed the job yeah, up well, the coast. Yeah, well, if he does, I'm gonna dust this bozo. He's been casing this town for a week now. I wonder if he's come up with anything. Hey, I got here as soon as I could after I saw you guys at Halley's store. How do you like our hideout? Isn't it neat? Oh, it's charming. It's magnificent. The view is spectacular. Well, at least nobody ever come around here. This place is as quiet as a graveyard. Well, you're a genius, a sheer genius. What have you been doing since you got here? Well, I've been busy, Gertie. I've been real busy. I got to set up in this real swell hideout, and I got this really neat job down at Halley's store so I could, you know, fit in like a member of the community. Yeah, real upstanding, Mr. Dub. Well, if you blow it this time like you blew it last time, I'm gonna slit your fat little throat. <laughs> You're just as stupid as you ever was. Knock it off, Bart. You just got lucky. I might let the gorilla loose to work you over. Now listen, you two goons. I intend to even up the score. I'm going to get what's coming to me. Oh, I can help good, Gertie. I can help you real good. You'll see. Me and Bart got to go and get the stuff. You stay here and clean up this rat hole, and it better be spotless when we get back. Come on, Bart, let's go. Seven cans of soda pop, 23 candy bars, half his collection of gag tricks, and a pair of long underwear was all stuffed in Cousin John's pack. It must have weighed a ton. I was beginning to wonder if I'd made a big mistake. Hey, what's that? You ever been in there? I'm going in for a closer look. Before I knew it, he was on his way to investigate the place where they dumped old wrecked boats. They call it the graveyard. Wow! Those look like a couple of old cruisers. But they got all messed up in a storm or something. Yeah, we're gonna get all messed up if we don't get out of here soon. Come on, John, let's get out of here. It looks like an old fisher cruise, about 30 or 40 years old. He got this home. Extra sturdy for the rough waters off the coast. How would you know? I told you, I read a lot about boats. It's like a treasure. Pirates and stuff like that. Let's check it out. Wow! I wonder what happened here. That pirates got him. If I burn this thing, send the crew to the sharks. John, there haven't been pirates around here for a hundred years. This is just an old fishing boat. What else down here? Well, then maybe they're bootleggers or smugglers. Anyways, I'm looking around. Freddy, what are you doing here? 
Freddy, my, my best John. friend. John? He was Freddy. always goofing around. Glad to meet you. Hans, Brett. Dave, you old baboon. What you doing here? We were known we're as the Secret Avengers, John and Emerald Cove was our territory. Here, Tubbo, have a caramel. Looks like you could use some nourishment. Ooga! Ooga, Tonga, Yama, Mo, Turtle Face, Sea Guy, Lizard, that's gotcha! Hey, we could become the three Avengers. That'd be neat, wouldn't it? Hold on there, frog eyes. First. You've got to survive the dueling Avengers test of courage. John and his rubber chicken had met their match. A hurry, you Latin lover, your days are numbered. You yellow belly tree toad. Ha! Ha! That shows you that nobody teach you the best. The high master of the galactic lizard. Nice landing, Mr. Cool. Hey, what did you get here? Whoa, I wonder why all this junk was stuffed in here. It's like an ocean chart. Not bad for a city boy. Here, see what you got. <coughs> yeah, look. Here's the coastline, and there's the cove. Yeah, look at this. Hey, yeah. what's this? It must have been stuck in between the charts. It's an old copy of the Cove Chronicle. In an unexplained accident yesterday, the Sally May, a local fishing boat owned by Jed Haley Sr. and Wendell Elliott, exploded in dense fog off Smuggler's Point. Jed Haley Sr. Hmm. Must have been Haley's old man. Oh, yeah. Haley's body washed ashore at Sandy Beach last night, near where the boat was recovered. Elliott is still missing and presumed dead. It just says that the Sheriff's Office and the Harbor Association are ah! investigating the incident. Is that all of it? What was that? What was what? Nothing. Just thought I heard something. Nah, just your imagination working overtime with four eyes. Keep reading, Davy. Elliot is survived by his wife, Sally Mae Elliot. The Elliots just recently celebrated the first wedding anniversary with a party at their home. Is that all of it? Well, there's something else down here about the old lighthouse closing down. Well, buckos, this Avenger's not spending the rest of his life on this rusty old tub. What say we split this place, Davy? Want to get out of caps? Fine by me. Then we can ask Cap if he knows anything about this old newspaper story. How about you meet Loki? You want to go down to the harbor and check it out? Huh? You want to go down to Cap's lobster boat with us? Come on, let's go. <gasps> oh! Holy moly. I'll never walk straight again. I think I threw out my lumbago. Oh! I remember hearing about the boat explosions and the missing lighthouse keeper. There was something else. Something very strange, but I couldn't remember what it was. Where is that idiot? Hey, so it's me, Gert. Hi. Where have you been? You were supposed to clean up this place. I had to wring your lousy neck. Oh, I ain't been messing around, Gertie. I've been real busy. Look. Look what I found. These three kids was here next door at the boatyard, and they, they dropped this map. I watched them every second. Oh, I'll bet. This ain't nothing. I tell you, it's something, Gertie. These three kids probably got the other half. It'll show us where to look. OK, genius. Suppose this is a map, and suppose they got the other half. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to watch them kids. Bart and me got our own work to do. Now get out of here. Yeah, go on, scram. I won't let you down, Gertie. I'll do a real good job. They won't get out of my sight. Yeah, right. Let's go. We gotta lay out this job before dark. Hey, what up, you guys? Cap had only been in Emerald Cove a short time, but he seemed to know a lot about what was going on. Yeah, well, here we are, guys. Hey, Cap, how you doing? Did you catch anything? Uh, Davy. So much of what I caught today already. Got a few left. That's some lobster, too. They're real beauties. Hey, Freddy. <laughs> Who's that good-looking buddy of yours there? Hey, <laughs> Cap. Put it back in the book. Your eyes checked. It's kind of goofy looking. I'm not sure if he's friend or foe. <laughs> this is my cousin John, Cap. Ah. Uh, that's family, that is. That's blood cousin. That's special. Nothing comes between blood. Except maybe a little fat, says Freddy. Don't mind if I call you Johnny, do you? There's nothing wrong being a little on the hefty side. Oh, he's hefty, all right. <laughs> well, 
Sometimes it don't hurt for a sailor to go to sea with a few extra pounds in his riggings. Old man, she has a way of working it off of you. If you're too frail, you're good at shark bait. So you want to be sailors, huh? Well, this old harbor's a good place to start. Square rigged schooners sailing and making this port over a hundred years ago. Merchant seamen, and whalers. Before that, pirates and smugglers. Pirates own the high seas. And the caves along the coast are just right for bearing their stolen loot. Stolen loot? That was it. There was a legend about the old lighthouse keeper and the secret treasure hidden somewhere in one of the caves. I heard tell of a secret pageant from one of the caves to the top of the mountain. Down by Smuggler's Point, near the old lighthouse. Oh, yeah. Speaking of Smuggler's Point, Cap, we found this old newspaper story telling about a, a boat that exploded just off the coast a long time ago. I was hoping Cap would know something about the boat no, that exploded that same night 30 years ago. I knew there was still something missing. You can't think of anything, Cap? Well, maybe this old noggin don't work as good as it used to. At least why since my accident. What happened anyway? I don't right to know. One day I woke up in the hospital. All busted up and couldn't remember a thing. Yeah, they patched up my body, but couldn't do a thing from my memory. Well, boys. I gotta get these babies a market before they turn green. Yeah, we gotta get going too, Cap. We're on our way to the beach to go camping. You guys have a good time. Be careful now. That tide's coming in, you know. See you later, Cap. Are you sure this is the place, Gert? Yeah, yeah, I checked it out. It lines up perfectly. We've been chasing this thing long enough. Oh, hush up and do what I tell you. I know what I'm doing. How about this, Gert? No, no. The other way. Where do you want it? Right there. Here. Mark it. Beautiful. The beach was my world, my home. When I was at the cove, I knew everything was okay. Yahoo! Let's do it! Avengers hit the beach! Wow! Yeah. 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 Oh. Hey, you guys!
be the strangest looking rock I've ever seen. Let me see that thing. Wait a minute, that ain't no rock. It's a bell. Oh. It must be a thousand years old. It's probably from a pirate ship. Yeah, let's clean it up. Come on, you guys, let's go home. John, my man, you may have been part of one of the greatest discoveries in the history of Emerald Cove. Yeah, worthless rock. Throw it back and let's go home. It's no rock, it's a bell. And who knows, it may be worth a lot. Hey, look at this. There's some letters here. Can't quite make out what it says, though. <laughs> huh. Boy, I sure could use Twinkie right about now. Man, that way just about ate up old Cousin John. That was wild. Let's head up to the camping area. We can leave our bikes and hide the bell here. Shangri-La to you guys, but to me, it's just a big sandy bunch of rocks. Besides, I'm bushed. <laughs> up on top of the cliff. That place has been deserted for years. It's closed up tight ever since old Crenshaw disappeared. Crenshaw? The old lighthouse keeper. Some say his ghost still haunts the place. Ghost? Some people say, about this time of year, you can see the ghost roaming around on the cliffs late at night. Ooh. One night, up at the lighthouse, about 30 years ago, the lighthouse keeper disappeared. They never found his body. They say that he was drunk and fell over the railing and was washed out to sea. Anyway, they found the doors of the lighthouse open and the lights on, but no body. What probably happened was that the ghost to some dead pirates got him. Did you ever see the ghost? Well, once. What did it look like? It was really weird and scary. It was all white and sort of glowed in the dark. It seemed to glide out to the edge of the cliff as if it was looking for something out at sea. And then it disappeared. Hey, is that spooky or what? I thought old Davy lost his marbles. Until I saw it myself. Wow, that's really something. Dad, wasn't there something in that old newspaper about the lighthouse? Yeah, here it is. Barely read it, though. Hey, listen to this. Lighthouse Keeper Missing. James R. Crenshaw, Emerald Cove Lighthouse Keeper, was reported missing late last night. The police, the police were notified around 1 o'clock a.m. Investigation by the sheriff's office revealed a watch chain and broken crystal found on the walkway believed to be from the watch Crenshaw recently received, honoring his 25 years of service. There is strong evidence that foul play may have occurred. The 75-year-old lighthouse, due to close next month, has been shut down. Hey, guys, it's all light up there. Nah, just your imagination <coughs> working overtime again, four eyes. No, I really saw it. Hey, Freddy, there is something up there. Maybe it's the ghost taking a stroll. Come on, let's go check it out. What are you, crazy? Besides, we might run into the ghost. If we don't go up now, we'll never know. Come on, we can be up there in 10 minutes. That's our little shortcut up to the lighthouse. Come on, let's go.
think that so. So who cares when we enter? Cake, or maybe even some cookies. Ah! You guys, look. Hey, you guys, look at this stuff.
Look at that. Look over there. What is it? jumped him, whoever he was. Yeah, now he talks. You were the first one out of there. Hey, what was that thing in the basement anyway? I wasn't sure what that thing in the basement was, that digger, or what he was doing. Was he trying to bury something or dig something up? And the ghost on the cliff it was all too weird. All I knew was that something very strange was going on, and we were going to find out. It's not here, Freddy. Ah, come on, it's gotta be there. No, I mean it, the bell's gone. Here, let me take a look. It'll be a ten-eyed toad. It is gone. I don't get it. I know I saw the bell at the lighthouse, but I put it right here. Come on, Dave, it's just an old bell. It's not just a bell, Freddy. No, it's gonna be just a bell until we get some food in our gut. Come on, let's go. We decided to drop our packs at my house and head down to the pancake breakfast at Haley's store. Mr. Haley was in back loading supplies. Oh, hi, Mr. Haley. Um, we wanted to ask you a question. Sure, boys. What is it? Well, we heard about what happened to your father 30 years ago in that boat wreck. I sure am sorry about that. It was a sad time. Strange things happen. Never could figure it out. I asked Mr. Haley if he knew anything about the boat explosion and how the lighthouse keeper disappeared. They're good questions, Dave. But I'm kind of busy now. Got some stuff to load up here now. Maybe we can talk about it later. OK. All right. Thanks, Mr. Haley. See you later, guys. <laughs> oh, chow time, man, am I starved. You can say that again. Am I oh, let's see what they have. Oh, thank you. Boy, I could eat a horse. I'm afraid you had to set up for a little piggy, John. Thank you. In there, uh, Pete. The <laughs> we looked for a place to sit. It was pretty crowded, and there was only one spot left, next to Sheriff Stafford. Who is this guy? Uh, this is my cousin, John. He's here for the summer. You picked a good time to visit with the Centennial and all. There ought to be plenty to do. Uh, Sheriff, we found this old newspaper telling about a boat that exploded off Smuggler's Point and the old lighthouse keeper disappearing. Do you remember any of that stuff? Well, sure. That was about 30 years ago. We figured the boat explosion was just an accident. We lost two good men. But some people figured that Wendell Elliott may have done in his partner and taken off, because we never found Elliott's body. That's why Mr. Haley didn't want to talk about it. Yeah, that's right. He was pretty shook up about the whole thing. A well, strange thing, too. James Crenshaw, the old lighthouse keeper, disappearing about the same time. That's something we never could explain. Sounds fishy, huh? Paper said it was foul play. Yeah, well, we never could prove anything. We never even found Crenshaw's body. No body, no motive. A lot of wild guesses, but nothing we could ever prove. I wonder why somebody would have wanted to bump off the old lighthouse keeper. Why are you boys so curious about this all of a sudden anyway? Well, no reason. Well, I've got to get back to work, even though I'd rather stay and spin yarns with you guys. Stay out of trouble. And don't stuff yourself. Great idea, John. Great idea. Celebrating the centennial like this, Great day for Emerald Cove. Should be good for business, too. I think you're right, Jed. But you know, you put in a lot of work on this on the council yourself. And my compliments to you for a job well done. Hello. The Centennial uh, hello, Pancake hello. Breakfast. Well, welcome. And Mayor Smith uh, was in his mm, glory. Uh, welcome, friends and, and visitors of Emerald Cove. 
Now, uh, today, today marks the uh, 100th birthday of Emerald Cove, and we're glad to have you here to help us celebrate our centennial. We've got a lot of exciting activities planned for you today, all culminating with the, uh, uh, with the groundbreaking ceremonies for the restoration of the old lighthouse. So, uh, but for now, uh, well, all those waffles and pancakes sure smell good, and I've got some waiting for me right over here. So, come on, dig in. There's plenty of seconds, and, well, just come on and help yourself, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Man, that was great. I don't think I could eat another bite. These are okay, Pops. My compliments to the chef. <laughs> hey! Isn't that one of those kids that knocked over my bike yesterday? Yeah, it is. Hey, you little jerk! Get back here! Cousin John had a real knack for making new friends. Come back here, you little wimp! the bell, and we were off after Freddy. Where'd Freddy go? Do you think he's hurt? I hope not. His bike looks okay. Hi, guys! Freddy had found the bell. Let's take the bell to Cap and see if he can help us identify it. I don't get it. Why would anyone try to steal this old bell? If it was the bell they were after, why? Maybe they know something we don't. Cap was just coming in from an early morning lobster run. Could have been Hank. That jerk has a no braino style. Hey, Cap. Hi, <laughs> Davy, Freddy. You boys lose young Johnny already? Yep. Where there's food, there's John. <laughs> hey, Cap, we found this old bell down by the caves. And I was wondering, is there any way you can help us find out where it came from? Can't rightly tell with all this crud on it. Let me get some tools and we'll scrape off those barnacles. I got some polish, too. Spaces, M, and some more spaces. Huh. Salam, salamander. Hmm. What's the name? I wonder what kind of boat this came off of. Hey, that's strange. What? There seems to be something scratched on the inside. See, right there. It was an unusual symbol. I wondered what it meant. It's Captain Avenger's secret code. 
I don't know. It still looks like a puzzle. Could be anything. It's like a map. What a weird place to put it in. Inside the bell of a boat? That's not so weird. Besides, it'd make a great safe hiding place. I don't know. It looks like a code. The code is the secret Avengers. Unlocking the secrets of the universe. Going where no man has gone before. Hey guys, snack time. What's up? We're in the bell in the surf. We lose it at the cliffs. The bell appears at the lighthouse and reappears at Haley's. This bell's valuable to someone. Yeah, and it's probably because of these chicken scratches on the inside. Maybe that's a treasure map and the X word bridge. <laughs> Maybe someone's after it because these marks really are a map. Treasure. Yeah. I wondered if there really was a treasure and how we would ever find it. Getting your fat leg caught isn't the same thing as finding it, Lardo. Hey! The boat that blew up in 1959, the Sally May. S-A-L-M. Hey, Cap, look who we got here. Yeah? It says Sally May. Sally May? Cap, we're going to head back to town and then out to the caves. We left the bell on the boat with Cap and headed out. As we were passing the old tall ship in the harbor, Cousin John reminded me that I had promised to take him on a tour of the Maritime Museum. Hey, Dave, look at that boat! Let's go on to see it, okay? Well, maybe. Let's see. Dave, it's a hang-up. Are we going to the lighthouse or not? I really want to see this thing, Dave. Never been on one before. Besides, great mission today, anyway. Come on, are we going to let him ruin our whole summer? Let's see what we're going to do, all right? I've never seen it. What are you, anyway? The rule of the universe or something? Why, you think you are? So who cares? Who cares? Yeah, who does care? I care. I want to get out of here, big boy. Head, head, Freddy, head. it won't kill us. Just take a minute and look at it. Oh, great. Now you're turning against me, too. I didn't know geeks were contagious. Well, lighten up. Freddy, we'll go to the lighthouse afterwards. A pirate diameter. Take that. Dave, tell him to stop before he embarrasses all of us to death. The tour of the Aterpe is about to begin. Please follow me to the main deck. Hey, that sounds like a good idea. Come on, let's join the tour. Emerald Cove was settled in the late 1800s. It was a time when square rig schooners and barks sailed the oceans, and crime on the high seas was the way of life for pirates and smugglers in search of treasure and dreams of riches. It is rumored that a secret passage that has never been found leads from the ocean caves to the cliffs near the old lighthouse. James R. Crenshaw was the last lighthouse keeper. He faithfully performed his duties for 25 years until one night in 1959 he mysteriously disappeared. The lighthouse has been declared a historical landmark and the Emerald Cove Restoration Committee hopes to restore it soon. This way, please. Freddy, what's up? Hmm, that's strange. Follow me. Freddy? Hello? Anybody here? Can I help you, boys? Ma'am, are there any other pictures of the old lighthouse? I may have 
have some more photos here in the archives. Would you care to take a look? Yes, ma'am. Okay, well, just sign in here at the table, and I'll be glad to help you if you need any assistance. Now, watch your step coming in. This is what I saw in the display outside. Looks familiar, doesn't it? Look at this! The sub-basement of the lighthouse where that guy was digging. Below that, there's something else. The secret passage! Hey, wait a minute. Whoa, it matches perfectly. On our map, there's an X. Sub-basement in the lighthouse. Yes. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> Bet the digger was looking for the secret entrance. Remember that tour guide talked about a secret passage from the ocean caves? If we could find that, I bet it would lead us to the treasure. Hey, aren't you guys glad I talked to you to coming up here? Let's head up to the lighthouse now so we can check this out. You're famished. Gotta go get some chili dogs at the town square first. Then we can go to the lighthouse. Great idea, Freddy. I'm with you 100 percent Come on, Bart, hurry up, hurry up. We're running out of time. Get this thing wired and get out of here. Yeah, Gertie, I'm moving as fast as I can. Yeah, sure. The centennial celebration of the town square was in full gear. Everyone from miles around had come to the party. Celebration. Glad to meet you, ma'am. Guys, we get some chili dogs now. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Well, I guess we'll go now. Bye, Mom. We'll see you later. And you boys be careful. Well, I hope you're having a good day today, and I hope you have a real nice time while you're here. Grab one of these for me, okay, Freddie? You bet, Dave. Hey, hey, Cal. All right, baby. Uh, give me four. You always having a good time? Yeah. Hey, Dave, remember that bell you left on my boat? Yeah. Uh, Dave, more onions? No. Well, I polished it up some more. Uh, with or without cheese? Cheese. Well, you know, when I polished it, it came out real good. Hey, Dave, I need an extra dollar. Just a second, Cap. Here you go. Sorry, Cap. What were you saying about the bell? When I polished it up for Hey, Dave. Here's your dog. You want to bite my chili dog, Cap? No, thanks. Dave, that dub guy's been following us all day. Let's get out of here quick. Yeah, OK. Somebody had been following us, but why? We didn't wait to find out. We were headed to the lighthouse. Uh, 
Ah, Gertie, are you sure it's here? According to my expert calculation, it's under here somewhere. Gertie! 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 What are you doing here? You were supposed to keep an eye on them kids. I was. I mean, I am. They came up here from the beach. I ain't seen no kids. You're lying to us, Dub. No, no, look, I'm telling the truth. Look, remember this old map I found? The kids have the other half, and they know where the treasure is. So? So? They got the map from some old bell they found. Bell? Father on the way to the lighthouse. You idiot. Why didn't you say that in the first place? He did. Look, there they are. You numbskulls, get them. I want that map. I'll get them, Gert. I'll get them. Well, hurry up. They're going to get away from us. Get them, Bart. Get them. everywhere. Good thing we're not afraid of the dark. Hey, look. There's a tunnel. Come on, let's go. I don't know, you guys. It's pretty dark. Don't worry. Freddy is always prepared. Ha! Ha! Freddy. I don't know. What, are you crazy? Gold doubloons, silver coins, the treasure. Okay, Let's stick together, okay, Dave? Ready? Dave, ready! <laughs> Good fooling around, you guys. <laughs> I just had a weird thought. Maybe the digger's waiting for us at the other end of this tunnel. Yeah, with his pickaxe and all his ghost buddies.
Alrighty, shine your light over there. Come on, let's go. Basement of the lighthouse. Yeah. He must be right under the stairs. Coast is clear, guys. Go ahead, John. Let's go. This way. <laughs> Welcome to our party. We've been waiting for you. Now hand over that map. Make a run for it! I got you! <laughs> I got him, Gertie. Where's the map? Search him for it. He ain't got no map, Gertie. I want that map. Lost your tongue, have you? Well, we'll find it one way or another. Mr. Haley! Mr. Haley! Mr. Haley! He must not be here. Let's go around and try the storage room. Mr. Haley! Haley! I'm back here. Your boys look like it's in a ghost. What's the matter? Dave needs help. He's in trouble up at the old lighthouse. Some people chased us and they caught Dave. Then they came after us. But we got away. What were you doing at the lighthouse? Exploring. See, Dave found us mad. Uh, uh, Dave needs help. He's in real trouble. Dave's at the lighthouse and he's in trouble. Mm -hmm. You bet I'll help. You boys wait right here to get a few things. Okay. And I'll be right back. Okay. It won't budge! It's locked! Mr. Haley! Mr. Haley! Mr. Haley! It's locked! The door locked on us! Oh, it's okay. Mr. Haley will be right back. He said he'd be right back. You're right. Mr. Haley! Mr. Haley! Mr. Haley! Mr. Haley! He's not coming back. We gotta get out of here quick. How about that window? Nah, it's barred shut. Oh, God. Hey, this is the pickaxe the digger had. Why would Haley have it? Hey, that's the digger's coat and his hat. Hey, what's that? I'm not sure. <clears throat> hey. This is the same article we found at the boat yard. Boat explosion, lighthouse keeper missing. JRC. See, this is the old lighthouse keeper. James R. Crenshaw. This was his watch. Crenshaw's watch. What would Haley be doing with all this stuff? Broken watch crystal found on parapet walkway. Believed to be from the watch Crenshaw recently received honoring his 25 years of service. Mm. Never mentions him finding the watch. Who else would keep the watch unless? Unless it was somebody trying to hide evidence. The person who killed the old lighthouse keeper. It was Haley. It was Haley what? Haley, that night at the lighthouse. The digger, you know, the guy that chased us. It almost clobbered Dave. Dave! Haley's going up to the lighthouse after Dave. Yeah, he knows Dave has the map. That's because you spilled the beans. <sighs> we gotta get out of here. Yeah, but how? <sighs> All right. 
it. We're out of here. All right. Come on, John. Let's there go. There they are. Go ahead. Come stop. after them. Finally come on. Come over there. Go over there. Let's go. Get those lamps. This way. All right. All right. Faster. 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 Gertie, over there. This way. No. No, that way. Uh. Oh, ah. Gertie. Ah. Are you all right? Yeah. Me and John told me that you found a map. Some people trying to take it from you. Did they get the map? No. I must have dropped it somewhere. Hurry, Mr. Haley. They may be back soon. It's all right. We've got plenty of time. Hurry, Mr. Haley. It's all right. Freddie and John told me that... Dave, what's wrong? What's the matter, Dave? It was you! Dave, what's wrong? It was you! That night with the pickaxe! No, Dave, no! You were the one who chased me! You threw the axe! No, Dave, no! Dave? I didn't know it was you, Dave. I wouldn't hurt you. Not you, Dave. Why? Mr. Haley, why? What do you want? Map. I want you to tell me what's on that map. What is on that map? Yeah, I think he killed Crenshaw, too. Where's John? I don't know. He was right behind me. What are you doing here? What am I doing here? What are you doing here? <clears throat> Gertie, my beloved wife, has returned. With my greedy half-brother, no less. Talking. All the bad blood of our gold digging daddy got passed down to you. Brother? Wife? I intend to even up the score, JD. You ain't cheating us out this time. You double crossed me. You and daddy were in it together the whole time. You're insane. You're out of your mind. You stole my half and pinned the blame on me. You weren't such an idiot, you never would have served time. You and daddy are just alike. You're a thief and a liar and a cheat. You're rotten through and through. Rest his soul. Don't talk about daddy like that, you stooge. Ah, oh, shut up, you two. Ain't nobody gonna get nothing if we don't find them little varmints and get that map. Stooge. Get out! Oh. Got your nose. I was heading up the path. Saw the entrance to the tunnel. You boys okay? Yeah. John's still up there. Haley's up there, too. He nearly killed us trying to find the map. Yeah. I think he's the one that wasted the old lighthouse keeper. They're all looking for the treasure. 
Uh, hi guys, what's up? Hey Cap, you made it. Did anyone see you come down here? No, I don't think so. They're still fighting up there. You better get out of here. Hey, wait, it's the map. I think I dropped it here. I think the treasure's buried in this tunnel. Better light that trap yeah, door. Yeah, they know I found the secret passage. And now they're gonna tear the place apart. Here's where we are. The X is toward the bottom of the steps. I say we start down there. Well, where are those three thin lines next to the X? This is the wrong location. That's where the X is, right under the trap door. Yes, but 13. An X with three lines is 13 hills. But 13 what? 13 steps. Right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <coughs> nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. This is the place. I think I hear something. Okay, you kids, give me the map. Uh-huh. Oh, my head. I guess I can't take it like I used to. Oh. I'm starting to remember things. It's starting to come back to me. My memory is coming back to me. Open this later. Yeah, let's go. Hey, wait, Dob. Where's Dob? He's gone. The trap door's unlatched. They're gonna be down on us like bees on honey if we don't lock it. I'll get it. All right, hurry back. You guys, hey, look out! Dob's coming. Run, let's go. Quick. Look, there they are! Come on, you guys, there they go! Get out of my way, Bozo! Trevor, get out of my way, you little thing!
Stop! I think I heard something. Guess not. Up this way. Follow me. that trap door. I think it's rusted shut. The magic touch! Beginner's luck. It's just a bunch of papers. Hey, look! It's the bell! It's not our bell. There's no writing on it. It sure looks like it. Oh, another bell! Wow. I wonder if there's any more. Boys, these aren't ordinary bells. Gold. Gold? Gold? Gold. Wow. Solid gold. Oh. Must be worth a fortune. Enough to keep us Here. in hot dogs and Twinkies for the rest of our lives. <sighs> Two bells. There's enough room for a third one here. Well, I've been trying to tell you about the Sally Maybell. I polished it some more in. Ah! Hey! hey! No, I what? Got it. Get your mitts off of these. These are ours. You thief! Give me that bell. Never. Daddy never trusted you. You're gonna double cross me again. Give me that bell. Get him, Bart. Get him. Uh, uh, Gertie! Bart! I'm stuck. Give me the bell, JD. Forgot. 
the whole town of Emerald Cove had gathered for the dedication of the lighthouse. Mr. Haley. There goes Mr. Haley! Stop him! Well, boys, I got what I came up here for. Those bells are mine. Daddy hit him in that chest. Cap found the chest when he hit his head on the wall, Sheriff. Well, the chest belongs to whoever found it. Unless we can trace some other ownership. I own those bells. It was my daddy's gold. And now it's mine. Gold? Sheriff, I checked. And those bells are gold. All this stuff belonged to Wendell Elliott, Haley Sr.'s fishing partner. Cap, I'm afraid this chest belonged to Wendell Elliott's family. David, can I shoot that Sheriff, do you mind opening that? You just might find some pearls in there. The pearls, all right. Wow. Cap, how did you know? Well, I remember I gave my wife a string of pearls on her wedding day. Wendell Elliott. Wendell Elliott. Wendell Elliott. I remember. That's my name. Cap! I remember you, now. You're rich, Cap. Cap, I'd like to say this all belongs to you, but I need more proof. You could even be that old thieving Jed Haley Sr. Well, didn't he and his partner both die in that boat explosion? Actually, they only found Haley's body. As I recall, they never did find Elliott. If they just figured the sharks got him. But I need to be sure, Cap. I need to have more proof that you're Wendell Elliott. It's been a long time. Every year around this time, I come to the cliffs and look out to see and remember. The ghost! Well, if this is Mrs. Elliot and you're Wendell Elliot, then I guess this all belongs to you, Cap. Cap, you're rich! It's all yours! The bells and the pearls. This is all that belongs to me. I don't own any gold bells. Well, there was $13,000 in this bank book in 1959, and it belonged to you. I can use $13,000 about now. I remember I was saving up to buy a new lobster boat. Cap, the money's not there now. Looks like old Jed cleared out your account. Oh. But the way I look at it, the price of gold at $35 an ounce in 1959, $13,000 was just about buy enough gold to make three ships bells. I thought old Jed was up to no good. That same gold today would be worth a quarter of a million dollars. You're rich, Cap! Right. If he won't have to the lighthouse, can He saw the map and tried to get it. Okay, gang, I'm gonna get out of here. A 30-year mystery had been solved, the gold had been discovered, okay. and Cap had been reunited with Sally Mae. Okay, well, Cap, the bells belong to you now. Well, boy, it seems as they've been a safe keeping for so many years under the lighthouse. I think it's only right at least one of them go for the restoration of the lighthouse. 
Thanks to Cap, the town of Emerald Cove would again have its old lighthouse as good as new. The treasure now belonged to its rightful owner, Wendell Elliott, our friend Cap. We spent a lot of time at the beach that summer, down at the cove. Cap gave us brand new boogie boards. We got a nice reward for finding the treasure. As for Cap, he and Sally Mae bought that new fishing boat, and we all spent many days sailing off the coast of Emerald Cove. summer was a summer I'll never forget. We did a lot of things that summer, Freddie, John, and me, but we never had another adventure quite like our search for the treasure.